This is my Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. Come, let me show you something. I'm using it with the first update already, which means that this is not with the out-of-the-box firmware, and I'm running one year at home. The version is 16.0.0.1.3. As it very often happens with Samsung, they already release an update for one year at home that I very conveniently put here on my desktop, right? So this here, guys, is actually an APK that I drag and drop from files and put it on my desktop. In this video, I'm going to update my one year home version and test the animation. And before it, of course, we're going to be testing the current setup. Something I would like to clarify, guys, if you're not following my channel, then you most probably don't know about many of the things, so make sure to follow. But when you click more customizations, from the home settings and you have home up installed, it will give you access directly to home up. And inside in gesture settings, I'm using the home gesture animation tuning where I'm using the elegance one, right? I really like the way this works. This is so convenient and very smooth. And honestly, in general, I'm very happy with the S25 Ultra and with One UI 7. It's a stable rock solid phone. And guys, I'm yet to put up my full review. I just wanna really give myself enough time to properly test it. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you some basic animations, but before I do so, I'm gonna kill all my apps. And right now I'm already on the older One UI Home. So we're gonna be starting with this thing here. Okay, not a problem at all. Now let's go and check the landscape mode. This sometimes might be of an issue. It's still not ideal, but nevertheless, I'm not sure who's using his phone and that mode doing that exactly thing. So guys, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you the quick settings. So, all right, this is here, all my notifications. This is the quick settings. Play, last song, media output, nearby devices. Everything pretty smooth. Here, all my notifications, we can go left and right or let's say clear everything one more time. Very nice, very smooth, no issues at all. And now allow me to show you the animations with my current 1A home version. So I'm gonna be starting with Telegram, Facebook, X, Gallery, right? You can see it's actually very good guys. And there aren't really a lot of issues with this. And I have put my applications directly on the home screen, but of course I can also go and show you the folders. Like if that's your thing, usually I'll open applications from within folders. But many people said, hey, you know, it's better to do this directly on the home screen. And guys, I listen to you, right? So let's try to test this a bit more. Yeah, it's very good and very fluid, all right? Even here, the dialer, you can see. 1A7 is really trying to catch up. But guys, what I'm gonna be doing right now, I'm gonna click here, 1A home. Do you want to update this up? Of course, hell, I wanna do this. And also do a screenshot, see if we're gonna get any starters here. No. So far, so good, guys. Okay, I'm gonna hit the update button. All right. By the way, guys, the application is installed, but if you try this on One UI 7 Beta 4 on the S24 Ultra, people are reporting it's not gonna work. How do we check if the update has been applied? Go here, about home screen, and now I'm using the version 16.0.0.2.1. As often happens with Samsung and updates, it's gonna be a bunch of people that are gonna tell you, you know what, this new update, so crazy, best animations, but guys, we need to test everything. All right, now, again, I've closed everything here. Let's go here, smooth. All right, notifications. All right, let's click the nearby devices. And now let's try to open some apps. Yeah, actually it is smooth, guys. But you know, the previous version wasn't bad either. So the thing is, I'm not sure what they did. Maybe some bug fixing. Nevertheless, it works quite nice. Let's check this as well here. Oh, wow, this is cool. Now, this is interesting. Let's try to see what happens here, guys. Oh, <laughs> all right. OMG, guys. You know what, actually, this become really worse. This is not good, okay? I probably need to restart my phone and maybe this is going to be better. Let's try to do this, by the way. All right, the phone restarted. So now let's do this one more time. Okay, this one is good, all right? Let's try to close everything. All right, open this one, this one. Yeah, I can see it works, but what happens when we <laughs> now perform the same animation? Oh, this is not good, guys. Uh, maybe now a bit better. All right, you know what, guys? Let's just assume that Samsung is not going to be able to fix this animation ever. Nevertheless, since we're here, I also wanted to show you how you're able to uninstall this in case you don't like this. So, we go inside the settings, 
click and search the applications, all right? Go inside the apps, then just search for home. When you're inside the One UI Home app info, you can click the three dots and you can uninstall the updates, all right? So replace this app with the factory version. All data is going to be replaced. Now have in mind that, yeah, sadly, this will also reset your icons. And I had to demonstrate this so that you know. And yeah, this is now annoying for me because I have to go and put restore my desktop. But anyway, I'm gonna do this for you. And now if we go here, guys, and check the version, yeah, it's gonna be back to the 16.0.0.3.0. And what about this version, guys? Let's see, one more time. Okay, that's good. You know, at this point of time, I'm just thinking, guys, this is pretty, pretty much the same. But nevertheless, you learn something new, hopefully. And if you're still watching, guys, I'm gonna give you a very nice tip. I have a toggle here that is called Keep Screen On. And when I select this, guys, my screen is going to be on for 30 minutes. And this is cool, by the way. Now, how do you access this? You need something called the Display Assistant. Go inside. This app is very useful because it will allow you to go and choose the light brightness limit profile which will not really so drastically reduce the brightness when you are outside and the sun is illuminating your phone. If you wanna go with the standard, you can always choose standard. And inside this application, you are able to find the keep screen on. And from here, you're able to add it as a quick toggle on the quick panel settings, which I think is kind of nice. All right, guys, let me know what you think down below in the comments. By the way, I'm rocking now the Pitaka cases. Pitaka sent me some nice cases for me to be able to test them and review them. And right now, this thing here, the Pitaka woven case, tactical woven case, Moonrise is my default choice. I did also receive some nice cases from Macbeth and also from Banks. So stay tuned for next week's videos. Thank you so much for watching guys. VST over and bye.